Cool. So now we're going to see a loop within a loop. So we're going to have an outer loop and it's going to run however many times we ask it to run. So they'll be the outer loop. And then we're going to put inside that outer loop another loop. And we could do that as many times as we want, but we're only going to do it two times. So this outer loop will say, okay, run, let's say 10 times. And it will run once. And then it'll say this inner loop, since that's what's in this outer loops code block, this will loop, say, maybe five times, one, two, three, four, five. And then the outer loop will do its second one, which means this goes one, two, three, four, five. And then the outer loop will do its third one, which means this goes one, two, three, four, five. So for each loop on the outer loop, it's going to run the code inside. And the code inside is going to be another loop that runs each time the outer loop goes. So that's nesting a loop, a loop within a loop. So we'll just bring this one down to uh, like 10. We'll stick with 10. And, uh, and then I'm going to just copy that and paste it again. And we'll put one more curly brace in here. So now we have, if we format this, we have an outer loop. This is the outer loop. And then when that runs once, it's going to run the inner loop. And we're going to drop this down to just three times and we will say less than instead of less than equal. So it'll go 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. So long as it's less than 3, it's going to run. This one is not going to run because it's, it's uh, you know, when it's equal to 3, it won't run. And we're going to change this to J. So we'll change that to J. I'll change that to J. So now we have a, a variable. The scope of I is right here. And then the scope of J is right here. So we have access to both I and J here. You can see scope of I right there, scope of J right there. So right here, you have access to both I and J. So we could say the outer loop, and we could use format printing, percent B, or we could say percent decimal. And, uh, and then we could do a tab, the inner loop, and we could do percent D, and then we could do a new line, and we have to pass in the outer loop is I, the inner loop is J, and I will print F that. And let's run it. Format the code, run. The outer loop, 000, 111, and each time the outer loop runs, it runs the inner loop, 012, right? So each iteration of the outer loop does three inner loops. So that's pretty cool. If we wanted to, and I'll just break this up right here and put that into our code. Cool. So if we wanted to, we could take that and uh, and maybe break up the printing. And so I'm just going to copy this line and print that only on the outer loop. And I'm only going to print I on that one. And uh, where would I want my new line? <laughs> I want my new line after uh, I'll, I'll take this one out. Let's see how this works. So that's going to be a tab. And, uh, and then this one will be, we'll just do the outer loop and give it a new line. And then we'll have the inner loop. And the inner loop will be indented a little bit. There we go. And then take out the I. Let's see what that looks like. I still might need to fix that up a little bit. The outer loop, first loop, and then 0, 1, 2. Next loop, 0, 1, 2. Next loop, so that kind of makes a little bit more sense seeing it that way. I like that output a little bit better. But you can kind of see, right, how that's running. So those are nested loops. It's pretty cool. And uh, I just thought I'd expose you to it so you have some awareness and understanding of it if you've never seen it before. Mm -hmm.